Welcome back. So now that we've tested that we have an on order list item always and we have no list item available if there are no products, let's try and make another test. What if there was a single product? What should actually happen in our code right here? So let's jump into the spec file again. Let's try and scroll down. I've made another test right here that says it should show one list item, only one, right? Now what I've done is actually pretty amazing right here. What you can do is you can use your component and you can just start setting information into that component. And in this case, what I've done is pretty much just said, I want the components products. Let's just jump into the component just to show you right here. I want this guy, the products right here, to be set to something very specific. I want it to be set to a single product that I create right here is an array. And inside there's a single product, just called the ID ABC. The item is item one, and the picture is just DEF, right, for the ID. We haven't, we're not going to use the picture ID yet. We'll do that in a later test. But when I've set this, I can actually again call detect changes. And what will happen is actually it creates again the component and the view or the HTML that is created. And I can now use that HTML to make sure that now there should be a list item. Very simple test again. So when I have a single product, show one list item when I have one product, right? So that's kind of the goal for the test. And now I can see that when I have that one product added right here, when I do the ch change detection, I know afterwards there should now be a single list item and uh, not two, not five, only a single list item. And it pretty much just means that when I've done this test right here, I know that adding a single product, refreshing the view now means that I can show a single list item. That's amazing. Let me just try an outcome and rest right here just to show you guys something else that's that I feel pretty pretty neat to kind of see. Let me just get rid of this right here and just jump back. We just removed some tests. So after it just restarted, let me try and show you how it looks because down the button right here, you can actually see how it looks. And you can see there's the single item I just added. Amazing stuff. And there's the single list item that I expected. So everything runs as expected. And I also get this passed. So that's perfect stuff. Let's try and do the same thing. Now let me show you something pretty cool because I can actually use a loop right here a for loop to show that um, it should show 100 list items when I have 100 products. Now that's just the test I've made and you might want pagination later and stuff like that. Then of course you need to fix this. But for now I'll just make this simple test. What would happen if I put in 100 product? It's very, very simple for me to test now. If I put in 100 products, how would it actually look, right? So what happens is pretty much just I make an array of products. I do a loop right here where I just put in 100 products and for each of them, I just put in the ID of the product right here after ABC, it's saying ID one, right? So that's all I'm doing just to kind of make them unique. I go in and I add all the products uh, to my actual observable right here. So I create the observable just like I did last uh, time up here with a single item right here. Now I'm actually doing it instead of a single item, I'm doing it with an, an off observable of list of products with 100 products now. I detect the changes and now I expect it to be, you guessed it, 100 list items. Simple, simple test. When I save this again, I can go and I can actually see the 100 list items right here in the code or in the view. Pretty amazing stuff. So that's how similar it is to actually test the list items for now and how similar it is to kind of add in my component some test data that's just static data right now, but I can add the test data and I can now start testing everything I want for that list item because of course I could test a lot, test a lot more things than what I just, what I just did. I could go to instance, instance and test, it has the button, I could test the right information. I'll just dive into that in the next couple of lessons on how you can actually start diving into even more tests for each of your products right here. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time. Have fun.